The, the other two heavyweights are Germany and France. They are not yet back to their pre-crisis level as well. Uh, the peak of uh, number of banks. The one on the top is uh, the evolution since uh, 2000 of the emerging uh, regional index, risk index. In uh, red, you have the evolution of the advanced economies, and in black, that's the Eurozone. You see that the gap is narrowing. In uh, 2003, it was 140, it is now 75. And it is narrowing uh, because of the deterioration we've just talked about of the advanced economy, but because as well, the emerging country has been improving their situation and they resisted quite well to uh, uh, the crisis. Emerging uh, globally, uh, they entered the crisis in a better shape than they were when they had to face the crisis in the 80s and the 90s. I see the, I see the yellow card, so I have to, to, to be very quickly. We have identified three risks in, uh, in the emerging country for, the, for 2011 and, the, and the, probably the year after. Uh, of course, the inflation is rising very highly. Capital inflows have been pouring into the country and uh, put, pushed the, the local currency to the appreciation, uh, uh, so in case of a, a crisis of confidence, and if the capital inflows just withdraw, it makes the things go, uh, the, the currency go down and devaluate. So that's a shock for the, the economy uh, for. Uh, for companies, and here you have the, uh, cap the, the capital inflows I was just talking about are represented in blue. Uh, you see that they uh, increase very, very sharply um, since uh, 1908. They slow down at the beginning of the year because of the turmoil in uh, North Africa and Middle East. Probably a lot of investors uh, just withdraw some of their um, uh, capital in order to speculate on oil, but it has started back again. I don't have the, the, the figures there, but in April, the capital speculative short-term inflows have just risen again. Here you have in Latin America uh, the evolution of the rating. Just a word to say that Brazil has improved its rating during the crisis uh, from A4 to A3, uh, Peru and Uruguay as well from B to A4, and Bolivia from D to C. Uh, whereas Mexico uh, has lost one notch from A3 to A4, and it's still an, in A4. North Africa, North Africa, we had downgraded during the crisis. Uh, we had downgraded um, the, the, the Arab, United Arab Emirates because of Abu Dhabi uh, and the housing bubble. Uh, that was uh, from A2 to A3. We downgraded as well Iran and Yemen. And in April, we have downgraded the ratings of Bahrain and Libya, Bahrain to A4 and Libya to D, the worst uh, rating. And we put under a negative watch Egypt, Egypt uh, B, um, a negative watch on B, and C. Syria as well, a negative watch on C, and Tunisia, a negative watch on A4. As for emerging Europe, Poland and Czech Republic are really the best economy in this area. Poland is A3 and hasn't lost uh, its rating during the crisis. It hasn't experienced any recession at all. Whereas uh, the Czech Republic, which is A2, uh, had, um, had a, a, a slump of growth uh, to 3.8%, but it has recovered very well. So that's two very good economies where you can go and, uh, and make trade. And for CIS, Russia, Russia is still a, a problem. It's, it has gone back to B with uh, passing through uh, the sea in January 2009. And uh, the problem is, uh, in Russia is the business climate, which is very poor. And the situation of the, uh, the, the, sorry, the companies, uh, which uh, have deleveraged a lot in, uh, in strong foreign uh, uh, exchange. So I see the red card, so I have to stop. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can check all the assessment on the advanced economy on uh, the website of COFAS North America. Thank you very much for your attention.